Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get financing to buy rental properties. Coming up. Okay, so how do we get financing to buy rental properties? And really, there are a lot of ways that we can get financing to buy rental properties. So when I first started out in the very, very beginning, I was going into a bank and I was borrowing 80% to buy a property, but I still needed 20% down for a conventional loan. I didn't have it, so I borrowed it from friends and family and acquaintances. So that's one way to do it. You can just borrow all of it and you can use a bank loan. Another Another way would be to partner with somebody else and you go find the property and you do the majority of the work and they bring the money, right? So that would be a joint venture and or a partnership and you can do that as well to find or get the financing to buy a rental property. Another way would be to ask the seller of the property to owner finance that deal for you. And if they are willing to finance it to you, then you don't need to get money to put down to buy that property. You could also buy a property subject to the existing lien and essentially you're going to just assume or take over the payments of somebody else's loan. You wouldn't need to have money necessarily to buy it. Or another way to do it would be to go borrow the money from a private lender, maybe a hard money lender and use those funds to buy a property. Typically when you do that, you're going to want to rehab that property, rent it out, make it an asset, increase the value of that property and then go talk to a long term lender like a bank or a credit union and refinance that process out. That may be a little bit more lengthy and time consuming, but it's actually my favorite way to do it because it will allow you to acquire properties with very little to no money in the end. And that strategy is referred to as the Burr method. Buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. I love it, right? So are there other ways to get the financing to buy rental properties? Of course. And here's the thing. When it comes to buying rental properties or investing in real estate, the more creative you get and become, the better. Because if you can you know, pull equity from another property and get a line of credit and then use that to buy money or to buy rental property, that's also a valid way. So, I mean, really in theory, there's hundreds of ways to get the money to put down to buy a rental property. Maybe you save and you use that. Maybe you borrow, maybe you partner, maybe you ask the seller to carry back or finance it, or maybe you buy the property subject to. There are tons and tons and tons of ways to, to get the financing to buy a rental property. You just got to be creative. So don't fret if you don't have any money. Ideally, you will save and you will use your own money, but you might be able to leverage you know, other assets or other people, banks, credit unions, hard money, private money, sellers, financing, or maybe even just take over or assume their existing loan. So there are tons of ways to get the, get the money to buy rental property, you just gotta be creative. Guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thanks.